What is up you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. We are walking, this is Andrew. And uh, we are walking past this little access point down this small creek. Um, hopefully catch ourselves a couple nice little browns on dry flies. Maybe nymph a little bit if we don't get any, if we don't get any much love on the top. But there's a decent caddis hatch that I saw earlier and uh, should be able to get into some. So let's uh, get, get to it. Check this out. Pretty tiny little creek. Water temps feel great. Socks and sandals are a must. And uh, let's get it into this first hole. This one, first one looks good already. Okay, we didn't get any love on the uh, on the nymph or on the dry fly rig, but now we're gonna make a pass on the nymph rig with it real quick. <laughs> Just as he's griping. <laughs> oh yeah, he's on. <laughs> he is on there. Undeserved fish, ladies and gentlemen. It was just when you were. Uh... I know I was about to complain about there not being a fish in there. All right, guys, check this out. Right when I was complaining oh, about there not being a fish right there, there's a fish right there, and it's a fat little brownie. How good that fish looks on the caddis. Woo! <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> Unexpected. But dope! So, right up in this soft water below this ripple, there's like three or four really nice fish coming up. There's one right there. So, we're gonna see if we can't get one to grab this caddis real quick. Let's see. Oh, that was such an aggressive eat, he didn't even get it. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> he ate that so hard. Ugh. Look at that, a gander. Nothing huge, but just a gorgeous fish. Ah. Alright, he's out of here. Yep. Alright, so we're just going to go over a little bit of the rigging that we have going on here. Um, so, we're walking around with, with a uh, nymphing rod and a dry fly rod. So basically, this right here is an old nymphing, is, a, is actually a dry, or a dry fly leader, like a tapered leader. And as you guys know, I hate tapered leaders. I think they're the most useless thing ever. So, what I do is I cut, I'll bite this, I'll cut this to run an indicator on. I'll do a little uh, perfection loop. Tighten that up. Use nippers. Uh, my dental bills are higher than I would care to admit. So what we'll do is we'll just run a loop to this. And then when we're fishing these small creeks, we don't want to have to fish any split shot. Um, so what we'll do is we'll run 
weighted flies with straight 4x to them, to the top, and then we'll go 5x even to the bottom fly. So we'll just tie a, a, a clinch knot, improved clinch knot, to our loop here. Okay, so we'll tie that straight there. And we will just run straight this to our top fly, which is, in this case, is a size 16 El Diablo, a personal favorite of the man behind the camera. About a foot and a half to this top, but, uh-oh. <laughs> And I just dropped the, oh, I see it. Got it. <laughs> okay. So we'll just run straight 4X to this little El Diablo, which is just a basic mayfly pattern. This is basically a flashy pheasant tail of sorts. So we'll run to that, and we'll just do a uh, improved clinch knot to that as well. And then uh, behind that, okay. And we'll run our dropper tied straight to um, the hook bend of this. And this is not like an advanced European nymphing technique. This is how I nymph everywhere I go and I catch fish doing this. Like, you can obviously check nymph and run your tag ends and do all that stuff. And that, I'm sure, catches noticeably more fish. But... This is just how we're gonna be rigging right now. And then this, we'll run the same thing. And this is just a little size 18 larva lace midge. Can't really see it on a macro lens, but just a very small midge. And these are the kind of flies that you can fish on just about any, uh, any small stream you come across. Because most of these rivers have mayflies and midges, and some will have stone flies, some will have caddis and things like that and they'll take a small lace caddis or late larva lace midge as a caddis it's like a mayfly as a caddis um, and it basically just most trout streams in the United States and so we'll have a foot and a half from this heavy butt section up top to our top fly and then about eight inches to the bottom fly and then we'll just throw like an airlock indicator right at this knot. This way it's not going to slide down. But also, we don't have to worry about any kinks because a kink is not going to break 50 pound test on a size, on a uh, 10 CFS creek with 16 inch fish. So, that's your basic rig right there. We're also walking around with our little dry dropper rig. Or sorry, this is actually just a dry fly rig. And this is a seven and a half foot three weight if you look, we have a lot of leader. Um, these small rivers kind of require that. And I just noticed that there are two square knots in my 5X. So we're going to teach you guys a lesson real quick. Watch this. Big fish set. Oh, pop. So never let there be a square knot in your line, especially in the tippet section by your fly. But we're basically just fishing a small caddis pattern, a little bit of hackle at the head with 5X where we've built down from, again, this is where tapered leaders are nice, but we've built down from 15 pound mono to 10 pound mono to eight pound mono, and then we're running a 5X tippet on the top, um, which will be a 5X fluorocarbon, just so it's a little abrasive resistant. And that's, that's essentially just the rig we're doing. And what we're doing is we're just kind of walking up, finding little pockets that these fish will be holding in right now, and just dropping the bug in, and we've been getting some eat, so. Let's see if we can't get a couple more. Some mayflies popping and their their heads are up. We've gotten them to eat this a couple times, so there's no reason why these fish shouldn't eat it. They're not specifically picky. There we go. Jeez. Boom. Oh, got him. Nice, nice. nice. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Holy cow. That was uh, that was a oh. Fish. Can you net that, Nelson? Holy cow! Sort of. Well, if you look at that, that is a sick fish. Get this little, pop this little caddis out of his mouth. So he ate that. That right there is why you always let your drifts finish. Because that fish actually ate this fly 
um, right before it went underneath that leaf and actually stopped me from getting snagged up. But that is an awesome small river brown trout right there. Couldn't be more pumped on that. His tail's super weird. Ew. Look at that poor guy's tail. Must have been a rough fall for this guy, but we're gonna let him go. That right there is an awesome, awesome small river brown trout. <laughs> we went right back to where you caught him. Right back up. That is sick. Boom. I'm stoked on that. So let's keep going up and see if we can't get a couple more. So Andrew was uh, basically just um, getting some line out, cast into the run. And he caught this little dink. <laughs> Cut. Tight, dude. Look at this beaut. This is the fish of the century, ladies and gentlemen. It's a state, future state record. Why he's using hemostats to get out of the fly, I don't know. Because I'm an illustrator and I need my hands. Oh, that fish needs his life, Nelson. <laughs> okay, check this out. That is a green drake, which can be great fun on a small river, but that's the first one I've seen. Told you. Oh! <laughs> no, he broke me! <laughs> Fudge! That was a big fish, too. Dude, he crushed that drake so hard. Okay, new drake. Fish, too. Dude, he crushed that drake so hard. Okay, new Drake. That's why you check your knots, ladies and gentlemen. Too far out. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? I told you this this oh! hole is this hole is awesome. Your bug's wet, man. Holy what the hell? Oh, <laughs> How did neither of those connect. Nice. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. <laughs> this is kicking my butt, dude. Oh, that was sick. That's not a bad fish either, man. Look at that healthy caddis eater. Look at these, how beautiful these spots are. That is such a good looking fish. I'm gonna send him up slowly. Wow, that was sweet. So that fish came up about one second before my he ate my fly and ate another bug. I kind of lost hope on that cast, and he just came right up, crushed it. I should say she, it was a female. But there's another really big fish coming up right here. Andrew, you want to get him? Nope, I'm good. Filming, man. All right. Dude, he like barely sipped that. And I thought he was so small. When he started rolling, and I was like, "Whoa, no, not small." Check that out. Small stream, small stream caddis eater. <laughs> he barely sipped that. <laughs> That's a beast. That's a beast. <laughs> Do you need a net? Oh, oh, that's a big fish. Don't pressure him too much. Dude, that's a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these fish are so rad. Look at his head. It's a, big, it's a brute male, man. What an awesome fish. Man, he kicked my butt. Yeah. He worked you. Well earned. Look at that fish. So pretty. Thick. 
It's a nice small river fish. Oh, he's going that way. That's the wrong way. Man. Good. Whoa. That was a big fish, dude. No. I would like to preface this by saying Andrew is refusing to fish right now, so I'm not just some selfish. <laughs> I'm just, just watching my just buddy wants, have a good time. Who who wouldn't want quality content like Andrew falling over? Oh no! This fish annihilated the spine. Okay, look at that. Fat female. Good to go. Let's get some more. This is just insane. This is dumb. Another gorgeous brown. Started, just started feeding right where that last fish stopped. Didn't even waste a minute. And then... Oh! Out of here. Quick release. They're just relentless. They just don't stop. I just had a fish jumping, freaking out right there, and that fish didn't even care. He's like, oh look, a caddis. I'm eating it. That fish destroyed that thing. Another fat brown trout eating caddis. Just living his life. We're out here harassing him. Okay, I'm gonna try and slingshot this fly into that seam and try and hook a fish and land it. But I think the chances of that are quite slim if I even hook one. But we'll see. I'm trying to get it underneath here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Uh, oh my gosh, dude. That's the biggest fish of the day. Look how tall he is. What in the heck, dude? Look at that. That is a freaking tank for a small river like this. What? <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> <laughs> I was sure if I hooked the fish in there, I was going to lose it. Slingshot right, maneuver. You're, you're good. Okay. And there's the fruits right there. A gorgeous, fat, healthy little small creek brown trout. So sick. <laughs> Come on. 
nowhere. Look how long that fish is. That's the longest fish of the day. I was just skating it. Oh, oh fuck, you broke me. <laughs> what a fitting end. I had this fly get stuck in a tree at least 15 times. Didn't break off a single time. And then that fish broke me at my feet, which I'm totally fine with. <laughs>